foster dog new to a Madison family went on quite the adventure during the holiday weekend, ending up with an ICE rescue by firefighters. Baxter's family is happy. He is now home and safe, but it was a scary four days looking for him. News 3's Amanda Quintana has the story. Amanda? That's right. The community really came together to look for Baxter, reporting sightings over a 16-mile radius. But it was two firefighters who saved him, and his foster family couldn't be more thankful. You can go get it. Baxter the Terrier was in his foster home for just two days before he ran off three days before Christmas. He must have seen something on the other side of the fence, and there's a hole about that big, and he went through it. From that point on, the chase was on. The family's 10th foster dog was out in the cold for about 86 hours, something he's not used to after being transferred to Wisconsin just 10 days ago. We don't think that even if he had tried to come home, he wouldn't have necessarily known how to get back here. It was hard for his foster mom to keep hope. I walked all the gullies and ditch land to make sure if he'd been hit by a car and made sure if he wasn't there either. But when neighbors and even a bus driver spotted Baxter, she followed every lead. We're pretty sure he went at least eight miles if he went in a straight route. We mapped the area. We had hung up flyers in about 16 square miles. What happened next is what she calls a Christmas miracle. His rescuers of the 115th Fighter Wing Fire Department were called out to a rare sighting at a creek on the airport property. Baxter with just his head poking out over the ice. We tried to break some ice out from in front of the dog and he didn't uh, take to that very well. Trevor went around the other side and was able to um, catch him with the pole. For them, they were just doing their job. If my dog were out there, I'd want somebody to do the same thing for mine. But for Mariah, it meant the world. I really can't thank them enough. I can't imagine um, what we would have done with our Christmas if he hadn't been brought home safe, really. Some more happy news. Baxter met some potential adopters yesterday, and they were just approved today. So after all that running and searching, Baxter will find his forever home on New Year's Day. If they can get him off that couch, he was looking pretty comfortable. <laughs> he was tired. He was. All right, Amanda, thank you. Good